This is one of many solid modeling problems which I have uploaded to YouTube. If you're a student of AutoCAD and enjoy this work, you've come to the right place. My students at the institute where I teach have fun with them, and I'm sure that you will too. If you want to draw solid models on your own after seeing my solutions, send me an email and I'll be glad to send you some 2D drawings to practice with at no charge. The first thing I'm going to do is erase the solid model that exists so that I can redraw it. Now I'm going to hit the draw on the draw order toolbar. I'm going to hit the button that's going to allow any future drawings I make to come to the forefront. Now we're going to trace over the three rectangles that are shown in the front view. And then we'll move those three red rectangles to the upper right hand corner of the screen. I forgot to copy the holes also so I'll do that now. Using the uh, the view toolbar would be this would be a good time to move into the southeast isometric view and zoom in on the red triangle red rectangles. Now we'll uh, extrude the large rectangle in a downward motion, uh, a distance of three quarters of an inch. To accomplish that, I had to type in a dimension of minus 0.75. Now we want to extrude the two small red squares in an upward position, a distance of one half inch, positive direction. Also, it's probably a good idea to move the two holes to the upper plane of the small squares. Now we want to extrude the holes in a downward position so that they pass through the object. Actually, I extruded the holes into the, in the downward uh, position to a distance of one and a half, just to make sure they pass through the bottom of the block. Now, using the AutoCAD subtract command, we'll subtract the two holes from the blocks. Actually, I made a bit of an error because I should have uh, union or add, added the three blocks together before I subtracted the holes. I corrected that error, so now we'll be able to shade the block and to see how it came out. It looks pretty good, and we can leave it alone. Now we'll zoom extents to see what we've got. Everything looks okay, so we'll move it into the top view. Now we'll click outside the viewport so as to get back into paper space. Once in paper space, I'll be able to make another viewport surrounding uh, the solid model. By double clicking inside the new viewport, I should be able to get the solid model into a southeast isometric mode. I'm going to have to pan inside the viewport in order to accomplish this and then zoom it up a bit larger. Of course, by making the window larger and Zooming the solid model to a, a larger, uh, the drawing could have been made perhaps a little bit better. But it's good enough for now. It should be remembered, however, that if we wanted to hide the, the rectangular viewports, what we have to do is make a new layer, call it viewports. Generally, we give it the color green, and then we freeze it, and the rectangles will disappear. 
Well, actually, I did decide to make the layers called V-ports and then to freeze them. So actually, this is what the drawing looks like. And so, we have come to the end of this simple tutorial. If I can be of any assistance to you, please let me know via email. Thank you.